So my final question is always the same, which is like, who are your ideal clients and how do people get a hold of you? And obviously your social links will post up, but you know, how do people get a hold of you and who are the, who are the ideal clients for you? So ideal clients in California, if you're buying real estate, either with your significant other, your spouse or a partner, call me, text me, email me. Um, but buyers and then sellers on the sellers. And we really didn't spend a lot of time talking about sellers, which oh, we yeah. could probably do a whole nother series about, you know, what does a seller have to do and how do we do with sellers? But um, especially sellers with real estate investments. So something that they're not living as, as their primary residence. Um, we get to have really hard conversations about your taxes. And I'm not a tax attorney, but we ask the questions because then we have to get you plugged in with the right professionals. Okay. So when you're talking to a seller, you're like, you realize that you're going to get X amount. You may want to definitely, you definitely not may, you should talk to someone that's going to tell you. How Absolutely. To- um, and, and it really, even if you're, even if you are a residential and you're selling your primary residence, you should still have someone reviewing your, what your financial situation looks like. There's a form that, that all sellers have to complete through escrow. It's called the 593. And what this says, it tells escrow how much money to withhold and pay to either the IRS or that, well, this one is specifically to the franchise tax board. How much tax, how much taxes do you have to pay in this? I promise you that if you, if you look at that form, your, your eyes are going to start spinning because it's a, it's a two and a half page long calculation on how much tax you have to pay. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's really important to talk to your tax preparer, how to fill that form out, because if you don't pay the right amount of taxes, you're going to be surprised next year when the IRS and California franchise tax board says, knock, 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 where's our check? Where's my money? Where's my money? (laughs) So (laughs) on the seller side, you know, there's, there's different things to watch out for, you know, there's disclosures that you have to make, you know, are you making the right disclosures? Are you disclosing enough? Rule of thumb in California, you can never disclose enough. Disclose, 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 because California is not a buyer beware state. You got to disclose everything. Well, I was, yeah. that was going to be my final question to you, like final thoughts, but I think you just ended with a perfect, <laughs> uh, perfect one, which is disclose, disclose, disclose. I love that. Uh, Rebecca, I, I really appreciate this. this. is so helpful. And I definitely think we need to do another one on sellers. And let you know, and I'm sure as you come with different case studies, I would love to do one with different case studies and how to really talk to real, real, realtors and real estate agents so we can educate them as well. I would love that. That would be great. Thanks, Sanjay, for having me today. And um, like you said, all my contact information will be linked, um, but you can you can find us online. Um, all of our social handles are at Your Home Legal um, and our website is yourhomelegal.com. Awesome.